Knock, knock anymore. What's behind the magic door? Come inside. Come inside. Come inside. This is the artiste's playroom. Hang room, relax room. Okay, see us. Knock, knock, open wide, see what's on the other side. Knock, knock, any more? What's behind the magic door? Number four. Number <laughs> two. Hello, little girl. Hello, little girl. Could you close the door behind you, Finn? Hey, Bush, not brilliant. That's the problem. Very strange sound coming from Knock, knock, open wide. See what's on the other side. Knock, knock, any more? What's behind the magic door? More radio station. Castle, yeah. if you have a purple badge. Canada. We're going to. Well, that's an awfully classy people. <laughs> um, well, if you're outside the, the main stage, up next is Damien Frost. He should be up shortly. Action! Hey! Got a lot out of that interview. Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Rooftop Security. Here we have as Ronan McGowan, top ace supremo tonight, who has been wiring the whole place with electrics and trap devices for the unsuspecting drunk who might venture up to this height. But anyway, um, we have the whole thing under control. We have 12 people manning different stations hidden away in different corners and different areas of the top roof of the castle and this floor. Their duty is to ensure that all electrics are not tampered with, no fires are lit and no drunks appear to sort of sleep in different corners. Definitely. Also to rule out uh, the event of somebody landing on the roof, be it by helicopter, hot air balloon, parachute or hang glider. There's been a few recurrences of this before in different castles, namely Buckingham Palace. I know this one is not a salubrious. I think I saw the cat burglar climbing the wall. The cat burglar was was, but he didn't get his claws in, and unfortunately somebody had a nail file, filed his claws down, gone. What would you do if somebody fell down the stairs? Is that any, in any way your responsibility or care? If somebody fell down the stairs... Or even off the banisters? That would be entirely their risk for climbing over the banisters. Well, so you guys aren't around to protect anyone at all? We're everywhere. We're everywhere to make sure that no one gets up everywhere. here. Should anyone get up here and fall, that's an act of suicide on their behalf. They've made that decision. They've decided. They've gone through the motions. It, it's a tough thing for them to do. You know, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a tough thing. And years ago, actually, maybe 150 years ago, this and did he, happen on this he's staircase. He's showing the height there now. Now, if you look at the height there, you've caught it there on camera, haven't you? Now, about 150 years ago, there was an incident here involving... I think it was... I think it was... Uh, there was an instance now prior to the invention of camera. A young Colleen, she did fall from these stairs here to her death. A horrific death. She had eyesight to see where she was going out. I think Michael can elaborate on that story. Michael. Harriet, one of the children that lived, originally lived here, was called down for dinner one time. And for some real odd reason, she decided she could slide down in the banister there. And no one's quite sure how far she made it because she fell. <laughs> And splash. Do you believe Harriet's ghost still haunts the castle? Maybe. I suppose so, yeah. Is it true that when you first moved here at the age of two or three that a little girl helped you up the stairs? An unknown child? Yeah, and there was a little boy as well, actually. Do you remember this event? No. <laughs> here we have a few slackers that should be on duty and are just hanging out and see how they act like violent apes in the jungle. 
<laughs> hey! <laughs> what do you got to say for yourself? What do you got to say for yourself, Emma? Um, Sabrina. <laughs> Sabrina, the teenage witch. Sabrina, Sabrina's a girl I met years ago, and um, we kind of we, we clicked years ago. About, I've been to ask about your job here at the festival. Um, my job, my job, my job is pretty good. Um, it has its ups and downs. The ups are um, not getting paid. Upstairs, going upstairs has its ups. Are not getting paid. No, the, the ups are going upstairs. Downs are pretty much going downstairs. So you know, it has its ups and downs. You know. <laughs> Um, you know, you kind of have to take a break from, you know, it can get very stressful mining a roof and nobody on it, you know, it's just... Or maybe boring, perhaps. It is boring, yeah. Knock, knock, open wide. See what's on the other side. Knock, knock anymore. See what's behind the magic door. I'm joining the festival here as well, yeah. I'm doing um, security here now for Dudley. Um, I'm just after coming off a shift, and I'll be going back on another shift at 2 a.m. until 6 a.m. Then I get a bit of kip until um, about, about 1 tomorrow. Well, I'm the lead paranormal investigator for the Paranormal Research Association of Ireland. Um, part of my duty is um, finding... Um, a good crew to crew the PRAI and finding good locations to go to. Now, Charleville has been one of our prime locations in the past and um, is one of the most haunted locations in Ireland um, so, so far as we've seen. Anyway, we've had a lot of experience here and a lot of fun. My crew are incredibly dedicated and incredibly good at what they do and I couldn't fault them for anything. They're a pleasure to work with. Could you give us any, um, just a brief outline of what you have found in this castle at any point in time, I mean months ago or now? Or well, we've found nothing today because we haven't um, set up any of our scientific tests. But we have found in the past a lot of um, spirits, the spirit of, um, say, Harriet, who fell from her death in the stairs just behind you there, down on Harriet's staircase. Um, I've seen the apparition of Lady Emily um, in my bedroom as I tried to sleep one night, just here for an auction. Uh, we've heard sounds, movement. We've heard um, people talking just out of our, our usual range. We were down in the... Um, basement there at the dungeon a while ago and we got some very good readings. We got um, high EMFs and temperature drops that weren't consistent with um, natural phenomena of the time. Can you tell us what kind of equipment you use? We use electromagnetic field detectors um, which basically are the modern ghost hunting tool and we also find um, that temperature uh, devices such as non-contact thermometers are very good as well. We use audio um, tapes to record EVP or electronic voice phenomena. We use digital recorders for the same as well. Um, we use a lot of uh, other equipment such as night shot cameras, uh, full night vision systems, um, spectrographic analysis tools and that's, that's usually what we, we use. Um, do you um, have any problem with people referring to you as Ghostbusters? We try to tell people that we're not the Ghostbusters. We're not what you see on TV. We're paranormal investigators. We're there to um, see if a place is haunted. We're not there to capture a ghost or to um, hold it in a holding bay like the Ghostbusters do. We wish we had that funding. <laughs> or maybe what you're doing is right. We feel what we're doing is right. We're helping people. Um, on our public investigations, we're helping to open people's minds to um, paranormal investigation. On our talks and presentations that we give from time to time, we're opening a large number of the public to the same experience that people have on the public investigations and on private investigations, businesses, residences. Um, we ho help people to understand what's happening in their home and help them to live with it and um, seek help for them if they require it. Let's hope your amazing work continues. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are now climbing up the uh, main roof. Um, don't know how stable it is. Don't care. Are you in any way intoxicated right now at this very moment? Do you believe that it is right to be intoxicated on the job? That helps. It sort of passes the time, you know what I mean? Is it permitted? Is it permitted? I've only... Thank you, Sean.
Mm. Seems security has caught some culprits. <laughs>